What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Subnautica. That's how you say Subnautica in Spanish. That's a lot. Um, Subnautica is actually the way to say it in Spanish. So today we're going to be uh, probably building the sea moth. I don't know how much it's going to take or what it's going to take, but I did have a bug earlier that didn't allow me to like do what I needed to do. And I created the vehicle bay, but you guys didn't see it. But it happened. Believe. Just believe. It was just a couple batteries. It wasn't anything too crazy hard. Boom, Mr. Vehicle Bay. I probably should push this over a little bit because I don't want it to, like, when I build a bigger ship on it, I don't want it to, like, phase into my house. All right, this is not just not working with me. Fuck it. We're good. All right, Mobile Vehicle Bay. What can we do with you? Well, that's not what I wanted to do with you. Let's try this one more time. Hello. All right. Vehicles. Seamoth. Titanium ingot. Power cell. Two glass. And a lubricant. Honestly, not that hard. All right. So what we need, obviously, sea glide. If the game actually wants to work with me. There we go. And we don't have a... Fuck, we kind of need a battery to refill our sea glide. We have lubricant. Uh, we can easily make a titanium ingot. What was the other thing? There was one more thing that I forgot. Battery, batter two batteries, and then, of course, titanium ingot, glass. Glass is easy. We can do that. Let's just do the glass. Let's do the lubricant. Let's do the titanium ingot real quick. This will be nice and easy. There we are. Let's grab... Uh, we don't need anything out of that, really. Actually, I'll take these, and I'll make the ingot out of those. So what we do is we break down the scrap into just regular old titanium. That's not what I meant to do. Regular old titanium. And then an ingot, I believe, is 10 titanium. So now we have the ingot. Uh, I believe I have lubricant back at base, back at our house. Almost certain. We do have a bit of batteries. We might just want to pick up these mushrooms real quick and make a battery to recharge our Seamoth. I know that I have lubricant somewhere. Where is it? You guys remember when I had lubricant, right? How do we even make lubricant anyway? I think it's just the seeds. So I'm not really, like, concerned. Uh, with making any more creep vine clusters. All right, we'll just do that real quick. Actually, battery, 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 battery. We need a battery. Here we are. Can we make another battery just because we can? And if we can make one more, we have enough for the power cell already. We don't. We just need a couple acid mushrooms. I wanted to recharge this. Grab a couple acid mushrooms. And then we should be able to grab three creep vine clusters. We might need to drop something. Fuck you, crash powder. We don't need you anymore. We already made everything that the crash powder can make. Now, there's probably a few other things, but crash powder is not hard to find. So, one, two, three. Inventory's full. Looks like we need to drop two things. See you later, salt. And see you later, piece of titanium. There we go. Now we got enough creep vine. That creep vine added up. It will uh, make the lubricant that we need. Once we have the lubricant, the power cell, and everything, we're going to have ourselves the sea moth. And I can't look forward to it more. We can finally go to the deeper depths of the deep depths, you know? Let's grab uh, some more batteries. Create the power cell. Go ahead, and we needed to get the lubricant seed clusters. I grabbed freaking samples. Whoops. That's fine. We'll go back. It's right here. It's right around the corner. It's not hard. Not hard. I'm not scared. I believe in myself. Uh, where are this? There's, like, no seeds left, man. I've grabbed, like, all of them. Here's some. There's a few popping up back here. Uno, 
dose. Trace, I'm not sure why I actually get that lag. A lot of people in the comments saying they don't get that lag, like I do. I've verified my game cache and everything. Um, like, I run 60 FPS the whole time. It's just when I render stuff in, it, it seems to skip a little bit. It might be because I'm recording. A lot of people, like, don't record while they play, so they don't kind of, like, have the same experience as I do. But, yeah. Let's get some lubricant going. Nice and simple lubricant. Boom. So we have the power cell, we have the ingot, we have the lubricant. Now we just need a bit of quartz for the glass. I don't think we have any quartz anywhere, so we're going to have to go collect some quartz for a bit. Should be plenty in this area. Around the walls and on the ground. Nice and easy. I do want to find a diamond... Last episode, I saw that you need the diamond for the laser cutter. Uh, and then we can get inside some of those little uh, Easter egg kind of broken ship pieces. And there's several doors that you have to cut through on, like, multiple different spots. So it's just kind of something cool that we can get to. Once we get to, like, the lower portions of, like, underwater, I bet it's going to be, like, diamonds are going to be, like, a common thing. And if they're not, then ugh, it's going to be quite obnoxious to get a laser cutter. Here's the, we're over by the geyser that was uh, last in last episode as well. Here's another one of those chunks of ship that I was talking about. The geyser areas are really cool. I don't know if you actually like can go down there and grab something out of it, but I, I highly doubt it. Maybe that's where I get diamonds. I have to go into the geyser. Also, somebody was saying that you can uh, stand on top of the vehicle builder in order to get another level inside my base. Like, on top. That way we don't have that weird, awkward water level like before. So maybe I will figure that out. Maybe I'll figure that out today. Maybe put the aquarium on the top level? Well, I can't because of the ladder placement. I need to do another one of these over here. That way we can uh, put an aquarium in. And we can grow our own food and stuff. All right. And now we just need to create some glass. One. And a two. And look at that, guys. We're about to make the sea moth. Hell yeah. Right here. This is all we need. This guy right here. And sea moth. Build, build, build. Yes. Build it. <sighs> I'm so excited. Yes. Give me that. Give me that. Oh my god, it's so awesome. Yes. Welcome aboard, Captain. I am Captain now. I am Captain now. We need to learn how to use it a little bit. Spacebar to go up and down, of course. I wish I could get some harpoons on this bitch. All right, we're going to work on our vital signs real quick. I wish I could put a beacon on this. I'm pretty sure I can somehow. It already has lost 1% energy. Holy crap, I'm going to have to like keep power cells around. They're not hard to make, so. All right, you're going to chill right there. I need to get my vital signs up, and I need to drop off a lot of my random shit. That way we can pick up a lot of random shit while we're out. Uh, all this materials and stuff there we go and now we just need to get our vital signs up which we just need to find a few little guys here's a pepper right here or a peeper we need two peepers and a couple of waters what the hell is that uh, a stalker tooth all right i'm down here's another peeper Boomerangs they don't need to deal with. I'm going to start breaking these things. And if they give me copper, I'm going to grab them. Because I know I need a ton of copper to keep this Seamoth up and running. Alright, here's one of the little air sacs. Hello. And another little air sac should be in this area. Here we go. Here's two. 
three, I'm going to get a whole bunch of them and just hold the water on me. Where is he? He just ran away from me, it looks like. He's long gone. That's fine. That's fine. We got enough water to hold this over for now. I remember when the creep vine clusters and the, like, just the creep vines were, like, the best way for food. Dude, this, this feels so much slower now that I've actually been in the Seamoth. I don't even know where I'm going with the Seamoth. I think I just need to find Cyclops blueprints. And the best way to do that is just to take it as deep as possible. And it has health, so we have to be careful to not get, like, attacked by too much shit. All right, we're gonna go inside. We're just gonna eat and drink real quick. I wish there was a craft all button in this game. Make life a little easier. And then the peeper. A little bit of extra water. Awesome. Eat the peepers. Drink the waters. We have an extra water left over. We're at 100% everything. And now we are hopping inside the sea moth and we're going on an adventure. I think I want to head closer to the ship. That seems like the place to be. We need to watch our energy. I don't know if actually turning off the light is going to save us any energy, but that's fine. But we can take this out into lands beyond and find some Cyclops fragments. That's really all I care about, is finding those Cyclops fragments. I just hit a fish with it. You hear that noise? That clunk? We're turning on the light. We're loading in this area. That just looks like scrap metal. That looks like scrap metal as well. Again, we're just on the hunt for the Cyclops fragments. Let's get out here. These look kind of familiar. This is just straight up metal salvage. It's probably straight up metal salvage as well. It is. It is indeed. Let's move around in our own body a little bit. This looks like metal salvage as well. Yep. I don't know what that was. But all I know is this. This. Oh God! What was that? Okay, just the little eaters, just the little, just the little biters. They seem to have given up. It's fine. We're gonna get the sea moth fragment. I don't know what it's gonna give us because we already have the sea moth. A couple titanium. But this is a cyclops hole right here. This is what we're looking for. Oh, that was Cyclops that gave us two titanium? No, it should have... It should have uh, increased our research. Let me check real quick. Maybe it was just... Maybe I didn't see it. Go up to here to our sea moth. Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. And we're going to get our oxygen back. Then we're going to pop out, and I'm just going to check this. So Cyclops, we need one... We need two more. So I guess the hole just gives us titanium right now. Not sure completely why, but that's fine. We're getting deeper and deeper to lands beyond where I know where I am. Lots of thrashers in this area. I have no idea what these things are. Whoa, we got some like giant mushrooms. What are they growing? Just out of curiosity, like, can I grab these? Can I? No, can't do anything to that. Pretty cool, though. Pretty cool. I really need to, like, just. Passing safe depth. Oh, we can't go below 125 meters. 
All right. So we'll just make sure we stay up. Can't go that deep with this guy. Yet, at least. We might be able to reinforce it or something. What I'm really looking for is just those fragments for the Cyclops, man. Not really seeing much, though. Whoa, this is a big piece of shit. Those little guys are attacking me, but I don't think they can do damage to me inside this, so we're fine. Not really seeing much on the fragment front. Those things look special for a second. I had to look at them. We can follow this little shelf. Not really seeing anything. Let's get a little higher on the shelf. Looking like a whole lot of just metal junk everywhere. A lot of metal salvage. Nothing we really need. That way looks like it might be promising, but it looks like it might be under the meters that I can go. Metal salvage, yep. This is metal salvage as well, I assume. Yep. I would be collecting all this if it didn't crazy take inventory room. I w I'm not really building right now, so I don't really care to steal a whole bunch of titanium. That's metal salvage. Very flat over here. This is like the shelf. It gets real deep down there. Caution. Passing safe depth. We're fine, we're fine. Don't you worry. I'm paying attention to the depth as much as possible. Here's some more of those like mushrooms. Very quiet down here. Very, very quiet. What is this? Whoa. That goes beyond the water. Um. We found like a landmass almost. All right, well. get out and we can walk on it oh my god whoa okay you dead my knife is used up well that's unfortunate because there's a whole bunch of those on this beach nighttime approaches that's fine that's fine like a butterfly what are you? Lithium. Oh, lithium is actually used for some of that top tier building. We're going to grab some of that. We found land. This is so cool. I'm grab as much lithium as I can grab while I'm here. I might build over here, man. We have to deal with those little jumper things all the time, but I don't think we really have to if we just stay inside. I wish I could set a beacon here. Kind of sucks. I don't have a beacon built. I can see what it takes to build, and I can retrace my steps. It's not, like, far away or anything. Oh, God. It gets really tall. We can, like, get up here, too. Maybe this is where we find diamonds on these. Oh, <gasps> it is. That's so funny. Dude. Uranium. I didn't know that this is actually where we find diamonds. No joke. I had no idea. I didn't even know this island was here. Oh my god. This tunnel is just full of diamonds and shit. Gee, this is so cool. I'm going to make the jump back in. Ah, cannonball. We're good. Dude, that's so cool. 
We know where this is now. We got the diamond. We actually can make our laser cutter. And we got uranium. And we got lithium. Is there, like, lithium-ion batteries? I wish. That, like, lasts longer, power cell-wise. Welcome aboard, Captain. I'm back. All right. I think we're gonna... We're gonna head back. Maybe make that welder. Or the, uh... The diamond cutter tool. And see what we can do. If I drive back... I might be able to, like, get a pinpoint, like, accuracy drive in this direction to find landmass kind of thing going on, if that makes sense. We can also stay closer to the bottom on our way back and just see maybe if we can find some more fragments for the uh, Cyclops. That seems like nothing important, really. a really nice spot to build. I kind of want to build on land. I wonder if I can, like, find... Do those things, like, have a nest or something that I can kill their nest and they'll stop spawning? I mean, they're just kind of a nuisance, but they're not, like, dangerous or anything. I think we're getting really close to home now. Yeah, I can see it. All right, so it was just, like, off this direction. Pretty much right straight out of our front hatch. Pretty much straight out of front hatch. We can do the laser cutter now, and we can see what's inside that, like, little, like, doors that I was opening. I'm actually relatively curious. The curiosity killed the cat, so it could be bad. I need to make a knife again. All right, so... It was that direction. Oh, I thought it was that way. But that was the ship, I suppose. Spawn nearby failed. Oh, it's because I might, like, glitch into something. Ow! That's not what I meant to do. We're fine. We're fine. All right, well, next episode, I'm going to make the laser cutter. We're going to open up some of those uh, little doors, and we're going to be exploring a little bit more, looking for some uh, Cyclops fragments with the Seamoth. We'll head off in a different direction. We found land. We found diamonds. We found lithium. We found, like, all this cool shit. So uh, I'm down. I'm down for some more exploration. We're going to figure out, honestly... what these things are used for. So, like, all this more specific stuff down here, I'm pretty sure was the fancy stuff, or maybe it was this fancy stuff, the advanced materials. They need benzene and, like, crazy shit with, like, the wiring kits. You need gold and all this kind of stuff. But uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.